other day it is cold 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 it's about five o'clock sitting here heating up the coffee everything's frozen solid in the tent water all of it froze um, but that means it's pretty good buck hunting weather so I wanted to introduce you to my number one piece of cold weather buck hunting gear I only break this gear out about once every three or four years because rarely is it cold enough that I need it the power mittens my friend Kevin Kenny nicknamed them nope they're not battery powered but they give you buck hunting powers they are better than hand warmers because a hand warmer just heats up one little spot on your hand you got to move it around these puppies you rarely get cold they're good for 15 below um, I just wear a light wool liner underneath them or um, this year I'm wearing those first light ultra thin gloves and I uh, pull them off easy to shoot um, they're awesome they got padding on the back you can warm your face a little bit they're pretty cool sucker but I've seen 73 deer it's not even nine o'clock best one's about 28 including his cheater not quite a shooter but we'll keep glassing it's all extreme long-range stuff right now I've hunted all this stuff that's right here and I'm looking at stuff that's two three four miles away right now but there's deer way to know you're on a migration hunt. Thousands and thousands of tracks. All these hillsides are just covered with them. Most of them are headed the same direction, but there's no animals. This was full of deer and elk yesterday. I've been glassing for an hour. I haven't seen one. So they've moved on through. I cannot find a patch of snow down there that isn't full of deer and elk tracks even right here around me look at this they have just this was pure white snow yesterday when I sat here amazing I just saw a good buck right down here best buck I've seen yet I gotta cut a couple hundred yards off he's moving there's no time to show him to you